Welcome to How to Record a Presentation Using Google Meet. My name is Patrick Dooley, and I'm your instructor for today. There are a few things you're going to need to be able to complete this task. One is you need to have already made a Google Slides presentation or PowerPoint if you're using that. You already need to have opened that and have it open up in a tab. Two, you need to have your Chromebook and you need to have your PC or your Mac. It needs to be working with a sound card. And if you're one of my pupils, your Chromebook is perfect. You don't need any hardware devices, any other software. Everything is all ready for you. So let's get to it. Right at the moment, you see a complete screen of a video. We're going to change that right now by using present mode. So down in my right, which is over there for you, I'm going to click on a button that says present now. There are two choices. I'm going to choose present entire screen. So I'm going to click on that. A little box appears. And in the middle of the box is a little image. Click on the image. And then underneath that, there's a button that says share. Click on the button share. Now you would have noticed on by looking from you watching the video, I am now over to the right screen and you're seeing my screen. If you were doing this yourself, you cannot see you your own face on the video. All you can see is your screen now. But everyone else can see your video to the right. So what do we do next? Well, how do we start a Google Meet? Now, remember at the beginning, I said you already need to have, and I've already got my presentation open here. So you've got to have your presentation open before you go through the process of recording it. So how do we open a Google Meet? You click on a new tab, Start to write meet, and you'll see for me it's meet.google.com. Press enter. Voila. Right in the middle of your screen, there's a button that says join or start a meeting. You click on that and you give it a name. Uh, your presentation name, for example. And then you say, okay. Now a meeting has started, though it's not a meeting yet, until you click on the button where it says join now. Some basic things, you can check your microphone here on your video and make the sound are working, but you go ahead and click that. Now a box pops up, an alert box. It gives you copying information for your, you'll notice if you're one of my students, this is where I get the link information from that you click on in Classroom. You can add people here in, if you're one of my students, again, it's only people with inside the, our high school's domain. So we close that. Now, down here to do the presentation, I'm going to show you before I close this web page, down on the right-hand side, there's a present now button. You click on that. And I chose to present entire screen. That's what I want you to do. You can do window as well, but um, for this purpose, entire screen is better. Once you do that, you'll see all the tabs. To actually begin recording over on the bottom right-hand corner, there's three buttons. That's a menu. You click on the record button to start the recording. And over on the top left, there's a little rectangle, it's red, and it says record once you're in recording mode. Now, that's what it looks like when you get to start Google Meet. So I'm going to close this instance of Google Meet. Notice I've got two Google Meets. I've got this one open here, and I've got this one open here. So make sure you know you've only got one instance of Google Meet. So I'm going to close this. Now, Back to what it looks like here. Remember, when you're presenting, you don't see yourself on the video, but I assure you, you are there. So how do we do the presentation? We click on the link. We start at our first slide, and we click over here where it says present. Now, when we present, we're now in full video screen on mine. So when you're presenting, you will only see the presentation. Of course, 
the recording will pick up the presentation and you on the video next to it. So in this case, I'm going to give you an example of Ian means in a nutshell. It's an acronym for in a nutshell, the summary. And today we're going to talk about how often you summarize. What is the summary all about? And you'll probably be surprised to realize that you summarize often. Every day you summarize with your friends, with your family, at school. So becoming good at summaries is an important part of not just schooling, but in life, in business, in work, in friendship, in social. Everyone is summarizing. So get good at it. Well, how do I write a summary? I'm going to show, share with you the three biggest mistakes. But before we do that, what is a summary? Is it a dumb thing that teachers tell us to do? No, it's the main ideas, the important details of a text or what it is that you're summarizing. So the biggest mistake, number one, most people do it. They just copy a few of the ideas, paste them in, and then delete a few sentences, and that's it. Terrible idea. Another big mistake is you write too much. You rewrite the whole story, giving statistics and figures and blah, blah, blah. No good. And the third common mistake is you write. What do you think? One sentence? Yeah, yeah, the story was about a boy who went to the far, far away castle. Yeah, not enough detail, right? So a summary has to include no spoilers if it's a book review or a film review, but if it's an analysis, then it has to be. But that is all I'm going to tell you about the summary right now. To exit out of the summary, or in your case, your presentation, press the escape button. Now that we've pressed the escape button, you come back into sharing full video screen mode, now, from here, you probably want to say stop recording. So to go to stop recording, you need to be in this particular mode where you're on the Google tab and you go down and press this button and say stop recording. But before I do that, once you stop recording, a little box will pop up. A couple of minutes later or several minutes, you will get an email in your email account with the video. So that's where the video turns up in your email account. Now, if you want to mind pupils, guess what? You're not going to share your video with me. You're going to add it in the classroom. And you remember how to do that. You add file in the task or the assignment that I've given you. So you add it in. So from your email, make sure that you save your um, actually, it, it automatically comes up on, at least on mine in English, it comes up on Meet Recordings, I think is the name of the um, folder that is put onto your root drive, um, your drive, Meeting Recordings. So you'll be able to add it from there. Okay, that was it. Thanks for your time. I'm going to stop recording now.